Okay, we are live. So, it is officially noodle time. <laughs> but not the kind of noodles... I'm not going to be eating anything in this in this live stream, just to let you know now. I'm going to be playing piano. <laughs> but the, So that's the noodling that I'm talking about. I'm going to just... My shed time. Hello to everybody here. Let me make sure I can. You guys can see me. Make sure I am visible. So I'm watching you. I'm watching a live stream of you watching me. Watching a live stream of you watching me watch a live stream. Some of y'all intellectual uh, nerds will get that. <laughs> Well, intellectual humor, nerds, I meant to say. I think everybody is smart. Um, all right. So, let me make sure. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Kimmy. How are you? Hey, James. So, it's just noodle time. So, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be playing a lot of piano in like five or ten minutes, like a million notes. But it's a way of me uh, doing a, a brain dump as well as getting my fingers warm up for some other uh, music and production that I'm about to do. And um, and I want to work on a couple different keys. And I just want to kind of, you know. So, I'm going to stop talking and do it. If you're a musician and you like any of this that I'm playing, if you click the... Uh, oh, I forgot to put it in the description. Hold on. Let me type it in the chat. If you go to... Um, <clears throat> patreon.com backslash Aaron Hill you will see the file for oops I did that all wrong hold on patreon I put pattern.com <laughs> patreon.com it's still the oh it's the autocorrect that's what it is patreon stop correcting me Sometimes the smart the smart devices are too smart. Patreon.com backslash Aaron Hill. All right, hey Michael, how are you? Hope all's well. Okay, yeah. So if you're a musician and you like anything that I play in this um, live stream, you can click on that link and you'll get the MIDI file for every note that I played. And you can drop it in the pl your player of choice or the one like I use with the digital piano string. And that way you can learn any of the chords, riff, runs, or whatever you hear me do. So for those that don't recognize this tune, I'm going to be playing um, Someday My pr Prince Will Come. And um, it's a real fun tune to play. And plus I was just listening to Bill Evans, one of my favorite pianists. So uh, it's one of my favorite tunes to play. I love playing in the in six, eight time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. For me, that yeah, I like. I really like that um, that particular meter. So there's that, and I like the colors of this piece. So I'm gonna just be chording through, practicing all the chords that I know. Stephanie, thanks for joining.
first I'm just working on my chording, which is actually my favorite part of playing, even more than soloing. I plan on recording this and releasing it on a piano album soon. Tell me what y'all thoughts would be about that. What's up, Leonard? Thanks for joining, man. keys too because I really need to share it in multiple keys for this this tune. rusty <laughs> I haven't been able to um, be on my practice schedule like I like but I'm getting there and with doing these kind of live streams it's helping me to get back into my flow because my when I'm on my flow like I have a 20 minute um, a day practice that's like out of this world that I'm trying to share with other musicians as well and when I'm on it um, my growth is like crazy exponential so one thing I decided to do was to do these live streams so that I can share it get some encouragement from you all while I encourage others share the information like I said if you're a musician everything that I'm playing Leonard if you if you like anything I'm playing man you can grab the MIDI file right from the link that I put in the chat with all the notes that I'm playing you can see it note for note man if there's anything that I can share so one of the things I love doing is playing in uh, 
uh, multiple keys, different keys, because it gets your brain like really like rewired. It's it's crazy. When I practice a song in all twelve keys, especially a tune like this, with all of these chord changes, by the time I get through all twelve keys, and I usually allow it like a week or two, so I can really soak it in. And by the time I'm done, like I can't explain to you all like what happens when you approach other music after doing that. Now, I've never played this in this key, so again, that's why I like this. Even though it, to some people listening, it might sound like, wow, you just jumped straight into that, but it's my working knowledge of chords and that kind of thing. So I've never played this in, I mean, B major, musicians, B major, y'all know B could be crazy. But actually, since I started playing jazz, B is like one of my favorite keys now. So, all right, here change actually hold on one second uh, musicians uh, so one thing I want to change about this is on the second time around through the um, a section instead of doing the, the minor two to five um, I like to do dominant the second time and I'm especially I'm gonna change it on my sheet music right now but I like to do that because it allows for an alternative um, quality to happen in the same place in the tune the second time. The first time is minor. I'm going to explain <clears throat> what I mean um, in a second. Just let me change this real quick. Um, so instead of C minor 7, I'm going to change this to C dominant 7. All right, and then I'll explain in language terms. To those that are like, what are you, whatever, what are you talking about, man? Just play the piano. <laughs> but I want to actually, my, I, I really do want to explain stuff like this because this is part of where I want to go. I want to take like um, these ideas and explain them to people who have no idea because I think that when you learn these kind of things, it allows you a deeper appreciation of the music. So in the first, uh, and it goes. See if I can get this music lesson through to somebody who who doesn't know. If I if I do, and if you don't know anything about music, but this helped you to understand even a little bit, maybe like I kind of get what he's saying. Drop a line because I want to see if this works. So um, so you go um, da, 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 and then right here. Da, da, da. So that sound would be like da, da, da. Right. It's a um it's a minor chord to a dominant chord. So this this sound right here. Right. Kind of gives you like a dark, you know, sound, like a mysterious kind of sound. And the sound I'm going to go to on the second one is this sound. So instead of da 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 da, the second time I'm going to go da da. Hold on 
one second, y'all. So, the first time I'm minor. Um, da, 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 da. And what I want to do the second time around in a tune is go. Uh, Alright, so even if you know nothing about theory, the difference between the two. That one and this one. If you notice, the second one feels kind of brighter. Here's the first one. Kind of dark. Here's the second one. You just kind of feel something lighter in it. And it's really because of the one note change. Really. There's only one note difference between the two. And that is instead of this, you get this. Feels kind of lighter and happier. So anyway, music lesson for the day. <laughs> I want to change it because I wanted to come around, do the sad one the first time, and the second time do the happy one, because it allows my brain to think differently, which opens up all kinds of. I'm a geek, y'all, so that's a that's a geek moment for everybody. <laughs> so anyway, y'all still with me? Drop a line if you are, and here we go. Let's get back to the program. <laughs> What's up, Greg? Thanks for hanging out, man. Andre. There we go, right there. Hey, what's it going? How you doing? Jared, thanks for hanging out. for a second. Again, this is not a key I normally play this song in, so I'm opening myself up. one little thing this is for the musicians um, for the file that I'm trying to give you all I actually forgot to start it <laughs> so from this point on from here everything will be in that file sorry it's managing like a few different things at a time hold on let me make sure I got it in give me one sec commercial break <laughs> 
Alright, so from now on, everything will be in that file. Here we go. <laughs> Y'all didn't know it was snowing. Y'all ain't tell me nothing. But you know the crazy part? I have a I have a weird sense. Every day when it snows, like right before it snows, I'm able to tell like the day before. It's something that happens to the air. I can't explain it to y'all, but it's, it's wild. Like an ESP snow thing. I got snow ESP. <laughs> the only place I can predict the future. <laughs> Yeah, I love this key. I'm telling you, nigga. Ooh, I love this key. I don't even know what that was I just did. But... <laughs> I'll go back to the file myself and learn what that was. to do change. Time, then we switch keys. <laughs> New chain. Wow. <laughs> Kenzie didn't used to give me uh, highs in person. Now she give me highs over Facebook Live. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Tell her I say hi, Brian. All right, so a lot of the stuff that I do in the moment is like, so off the cuff it's um what is it i need some other some other nerds here because i always forget this left brain is analytical right brain creative or other way around i always forget i think it's that way 
left brain analytical, right right brain. I think somebody correct me, or tell me I'm right. <laughs> um, but I love this process because it allows me to, like, for my mind to kind of just go in the creative place, and that's when like my voice comes out, so to speak. All right, so now we're in the next key. Which, um, for musicians out there, this is C major now. I think I might even go up one more key. <clears throat> just because I'm really feeling the creative thing. So the melody would be... Um, so it would be... Uh, do some quick homework so okay all right so sorry I'm doing a lot in my in my head real quick um, so from here it would be I put it there and I'm forgetting. It's crazy. I stopped the whole live stream to explain the dominant chord and I'm not even playing it. <laughs> I never played it in this key either, y'all. Jerome, don't worry, man. Hit me up, bro. We can get you playing like this. And better.
what's up, Tony? Was there. So I need a lot of practice, y'all. Golly. And I'm not saying it to try to be modest or anything, but yeah, I used to have. If you caught me 2014, oh my goodness. So, I got to get back to my 2014 status. Yeah, some of the ideas that I'm having and the way my fingers are flowing. But this practice right here, which is kind of like a boot camp, is what really gets me um, back there. What's up, Brian? Real talk. Let's chat on it. We like me to learn, read music, play piano, life on a dream. Cool, Brian. Hey, no doubt, brother. Let's rap about it. Let's rap, man. I feel like there was a meme that I saw the other day, and it was on, um, if I can find it, i repost it. It said, um, when you're 90, you may not be able to, and it named like a couple different careers that were really physically taxing. And it was like, but you'll still be able to play the piano, you know. And um, it is something that I do appreciate about being able to play the piano. It's kind of like, you know, unless you're, unless you're really dealing with something physically that doesn't allow you to sit down and move your hands and you know your brain functioning properly I mean it is a luxury that once you get it you're afforded like years and years of really really good and fun times and um I think the best part I like about it is the fact that like I get to sit here and if I'm feeling bad like I, I just get to go that makes me feel bad like just hearing that back just is calming and soothing so it's like you get a chance to be your own therapist in um in a pretty significant way because uh yeah the music can be really touching so what's up Romello thanks for hanging out man all right so next key everybody that I'm going to is I was in C now I'm going to D flat which is the next step up and spatter i'm pissed man i'm pissed bro i'm pissed because you know i didn't see you five minutes ago uh even though i would have had no reason to say that but i just gotta find some reason to be pissed man good to see you now though five minutes later <laughs> yeah man oh yeah definitely man the the memory brian if you can memorize um cold game controls for fortnite <laughs> Yeah, man, with actual soul in it. And the, the cool part is, yeah, man, if you can memorize those kind of things, oh, yeah, you can you can memorize combinations of uh, notes fast. But anyway, let's go. Here we go. So this is D-flat. Going up a half step. Again, never played it in any of these keys. Someday my prince will come. You know what? Let me... I think I might put on a little, um, a little backing track this time. Let's see. 
let me first familiar familiarize myself with it with the chord changes. So in this key, it would be. Um, reference purposes because I won't be playing the melody I don't <laughs> actually have it even though I did that that was from relative pitch memory of the last keys so See where we What's up, Daryl? I'm trying to sneak that uh, that uh, D diminished like the B flat concept in there. So like uh, like there. That's why I like this song so much because of the chords. I get a chance to stretch out on the chords.
gonna do one more key. We're gonna do a D flat. I mean, a D major. One more key. I'm having fun now. <clears throat> and maybe. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should put this track in here. Let me see what it sounds like. Let me see if it's got. I need an up tempo because I'm kind of kind of going at a pretty up tempo pace. Let's see what we got. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right. Let's see. I need it much faster than that for where I was. Let's see what, let me see, let's try, let's see what this sounds like. Drop a line if you're here, if you're a musician, don't forget. All right, I think this might be cool. What's up, Jeff? Thanks, brother. Here we go. Two, three, and, and. before so I'm just relying on my reading skills and my recovery skills <laughs> and how to solo over it, because that's the most important part. But what I do, accompanying other people doing the melody. The, uh, that's what practice is for, right? Thank you. 
shot some bass. Let's see what happens if I throw some bass in here. Let's get it, y'all. This is when it gets fun. Try a little rose. Thank Devon. Thank you. I've never played in this key before.
think I'm gonna go to E flat, y'all. I can't go this far and not go to E flat. Especially since E flat is one of my favorite keys. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for your encouragement, for your push. Y'all helped me to have a successful practice today. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> I do actually want to do it daily though. I just gotta figure out a time that works for everybody. Here we go. As if such time exists. <laughs> Alright, let's do this no bass first. So, if you all that are musicians that are watching this plan on picking up this file that's going to be attached right to that link that's in the top of the feed, like you're going to get a lot because even though I'm super rusty, I'm still, my brain is starting to, it's starting to come back to me. <laughs> I used to know a lot of really incredible stuff that's starting to come back. And I'm trying to bring it back and then pile on top of that. Alright, so here we go. So this is the second ending, so that you all know where I am. So the melody, uh, mess it all up. <laughs> Y'all get it. Um, Y'all get it. I'll learn the actual melody later. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let me take it from the top. One, two, three. What's up, Rowan? Thanks for watching, man. Or hanging out, rather. See, stuff like this happens. I just thought of a new rhythm that would work. Kind of like four, but it's over six. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep that up for a second so I can get locked in my brain. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, let's put some bass in there. That way, I like practicing that way because I get a chance to practice the bass on the piano. <clears throat> then I throw a bass in there. I'm using I Real B for those of you all that are interested. And I'm going to do a whole series on this uh, program, why I use it, and how I structure what I feel is like the greatest jazz practice that I could have for myself around it. I'm going to share with others. It's in four with six again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. rules and then we out of here. So Charles I tell you what, you know what, Brian, I'm going to do something for you real quick. Um, I think I can do, oh yeah, you know what, all right, I'm going to do something for you real quick. I just saw your name pop up again, I thought of an idea. I'm going to give you a soulful version of this real quick. I'm going to put it in like a hip-hop groove and play this.
Thanks, man, for not saying anything and giving me inspiration. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because I know you like soul, let me change this um, meter. We're going to funk it up real quick. All right, uh, let's see. Let's say save that. Now, I'm doing this inside our program. I think this particular beat will be pretty cool for it. Uh, and we're going to do a... We're going to do this. Let me see how this sounds. i to find the right tempo. Alright. So let me speed this up real quick. Let me change the bass sound. Because that was kind of whack. <laughs> and Okay, so I need this to be double time. How do I make this double time? Give me one second, man. I got a, an idea. I got to see if this program can pull it off. Um, let's see. Four, four. All right. Sorry for stopping the groove. <laughs> All right, let me see if I if I make this a lot faster. How this sounds? Let's go to 140. Let's see what happens. So I didn't want, <laughs> didn't want it at this. I want it at this tempo, but it won't. It won't do. Let me see. Let me see one more thing. I want the beat to be half time of that, but I wanted it to change the chords at that speed. And I don't think I can get it to work. Let me see what happens if I do this in two. This might sound funny, but let me see what happens. Uh, let's save. Let me see something. Bear, me, bear with me for a second. I may not be able to pull this off. I might have to go right back. Okay, I think this works. Yeah, I think I got it. All right, let me let me go back down in tempo. <laughs> this is fun. All right, I'm trying to give you a groove, Brian. That's like. 90, let me see what 90 feels like. Got to give you that. So hip hop, if you didn't know this, this would be for your references to like, if you're in a conversation, they'd be like, oh wow, he, he really knows some shit. <laughs> hip hop is like 85 BPM, which is beats per minute, 85 to say like 95. So when you're in a conversation, if you want to sound smart one day, just say, oh yeah, that's, that sounds like that's about maybe 92 beats per minute. I, I like that group. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. 
That's what I'm trying to do first time. Still with me. Oh, you are. <laughs> My screen froze up, that's why I didn't know. Alright, I see it now. y'all would uh, like to continue to see me do these kind of practice sessions, um, let me know. Drop a comment. My goal is to continue. If you guys have been keeping up, I started like last week or about, a, about maybe two weeks ago now. And my goal is to do it on an everyday basis. I need some more feedback. I have an idea in mind. I'm going forth with it. But I love to hear you talk in the process. And my goal is to have this kind of interactive experience and um, where I'm playing, where I'm explaining some things as far as the music to musicians as well as people who aren't musicians, just kind of bringing everybody in on the experience, answering some questions, having some laughs, having some drinks. You bring the drinks, I'll drink. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, drop a line, let me know what you think. And if you're a musician, uh, you can grab this file of everything that I just played. Every single note and chord that I just played is available on the link. Just look at the title of this video or in the chat. 
and I'll wait to hear back from you. I'll be like a teacher where they say, I'll wait. <laughs> I won't say a thing. I won't do anything else until 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 I hear from you. No, but um, I appreciate you all. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your Thursday. Join me tonight on Facebook Live. I'll be playing with uh, Brandon Woody in D.C. at a nice venue, nice uh, event. We're going to be playing some duet jazz, so it's going to be a lot of fun. So join me for back for that. And if you haven't watched my um, my vlog from last Saturday, look on my timeline. It's the Reginald F. Lewis Museum vlog. It was fun. I think you'll find it funny. Maybe not. Even if it's if you find it corny, that's perfect because that fits my character. I'm corny and I love it. I mean, so I'm not gonna let it let the cat out the bag yet because um, this is one of those things. I think if I uh, if I announce it. This might be one idea that, that does get stolen <laughs> before I get a chance to pull it off. But I've got a, uh, a brand that I'm going to come out with that's probably going to be a t-shirt. It's going to be on a t-shirt first. But it's about um, being a nerd and being cool with it. Being a nerd and being proud of, proud of it. So look out for that and all this other stuff I'm rambling about. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day today. Peace.